Hi, this is Mark Gaylor, Adobe Photoshop Ambassador for the Asia-Pacific region here. And we're going to discuss or uh, feature my top 20 all-time favorite uh, tips and techniques for when working in Photoshop CC. Okay, uh, top tip number three is the use of actions. Now, it is possible to automate uh, Photoshop CC with workflows using something called actions. And we have an actual actions panel there. And you can see that I've got um, a number of actions that I've created for myself. Basically, if you find yourself doing anything repetitive in Photoshop, you need to consider making an action. OK, because uh, you, there's no reason to do the same laborious steps, uh, exactly the same steps on multiple images. If you record uh, an action on the first or second one, you can then simply uh, play that series of steps over every subsequent image just with a single click. OK, so let's take a, a look at um, some of my actions, for instance. I've got one here called Multiplicity. Now, if I was to do each and every step involved in this action, let's just uh, open up this one called Diagonal here, you can see that it has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of steps, meaning that it would take me minutes, uh, or lots of minutes, to actually edit this image. But now that I've recorded it, uh, I can simply just click on the action. This uh, um, set of actions can contains three different options. To play that action, I just simply need to click on the play action uh, arrow there. Okay, and that will play out. Now this one's got a little bit of um, uh, um, a dialog box that uh, invites me to uh, add something else before continuing the action. I'm just going to stop it here uh, because I don't need to play that second part of the action. Already you can see that uh, we've got uh, multiple uh, layers or smart objects that are being created all using blend modes, um, opacity settings. Uh, the blend modes was a feature of top tip number two there. And uh, we've got this uh, top layer with a layer mask that is completely filled with black, meaning this layer is being completely hidden from its effect. But what is inside of this uh, layer is an original image uh, that hasn't had this multiplicity uh, sort of slight blurry vision uh, thing going on there. Uh, but I can actually reveal uh, aspects of this um, and uh, so I don't have to play the action or effect out over the entire image. Um, so all I'd need to do is select the brush tool. I've selected B on the keyboard. I'm going to make sure white is the foreground color. I'm going to choose um, a brush with minimum hardness, 0% hardness, and I, I've got the opacity setting at 100%. Now I simply all I need to do is just wipe into that image uh, to restore any fine detail, i.e. the detail without the blurry vision there, uh, in order to uh, make uh, a, a, an image that uh, I'm happy with. Like I like the effect on the bridge and the building, but not on the skyline there. Okay, so a great thing about recording actions, and if you are going to make your own actions, I would encourage you to, um, the first step of any action really should be to create a snapshot. Okay, the snapshot allows you to go back, if you don't like the action played out on this particular image, the action just allows you to go back to the moment before the action was applied. Uh, we're actually in the history panel here, and so I can go back, if I like the action, uh, to that final step there. Okay, so uh, if you're not ready to make your own actions yet, then you can find um, that um, Photoshop CC ships with some actions. You'll have actions already in the actions panel, but you can also go and search online for actions. Some you need to purchase, but some are free. Um, they can be used for color grading your images, all sorts of um, uh, workflows that you don't need to learn how to do. You can simply just acquire the action and then with what a single click play that effect out over your image okay so let's take a, another look at another image where we can um, play out an action I'll just do command 0 to fit on screen control 0 on a PC okay so let's come over to my actions panel again and I'll just collapse this um, um, option here the multiplicity one and uh, we'll um, go and look at um, a flare action. Uh, 
Now, uh, the borders and textures and flair are actions that I actually sell on my own website if you are curious about how to create these effects. Uh, the, uh, the nature of these particular actions is they use additional files uh, for texture or flair to be overlaid to create a composite image. Okay, so let's just take a look at a single flare. Okay, I'll just click the play button. Um, this dialog box uh, invites me to go over to the folder that stores these flare files. So I'll just hit continue there and I'll go to my ESP resource folder and I'll choose um, a flare file. Okay, it's a horizontal image. So I'll just choose this flare file here and click click place. Now the only thing that the actions typically can't do with these additional files is size them to fit your host image. So you might just need to tailor that so it fits um, your image. Um, click OK and the action will proceed. And now we have the flare uh, overlaid over the top of our image and here is the flare layer that we selected from my resource folder there and uh, a levels adjustment just to snap the contrast back in. Now if I wanted to apply a texture again I could just go and pick up um, um, from my borders and textures. I'll uh, uh, click on a uh, texture. Uh, let's have it as strong, a strong texture. Click uh, play. Again, it's inviting me to navigate to my folder of textures. Okay, so let's just um, grab that um, from not the flares, but from the textures. Uh, it's a horizontal image. So I'll just select this one here. Hit place. Okay, again, just resize the image. Uh, to fit my host image, click proceed and there's the texture. It's a little bit strong perhaps so I'll just wind back uh, the opacity of this texture a little bit. Okay. Uh, if I decided that I wanted to remove the texture from the skin, I could do that. Uh, but uh, rather than just uh, affecting the texture, um, I also want to wind back the flare as well. So I'll just uh, shift click these group of four layers with these effects on. I'll press Command G on a Mac or Control G on a PC to push them into a group. And then I'll add a layer mask to that group. I'll just collapse my actions panel momentarily. Now with that uh, layer mask selected, I'll select D for default, X to push black as the foreground color with my soft brush. And I'm just going to increase the uh, brush size using my um, square bracket keys, uh, which is, saves me coming up and choosing a size there. And then with 50% as the opacity, I'll just press the 5 key there. I can then just wind the effect back in the region of the skin, maybe a second pass just to clear it up a little bit more. And there we have, um, uh, as you can see, I'm masking back uh, so I can reveal the layer underneath. Okay, one more effect. Yes, let's go for that one more effect. Okay, is uh, we'll put on a border. The type of things that I'm doing here are all the sort of ad um, image adjustments that we can't affect inside of a program such as Lightroom. Okay, they're all uh, using layers and masking and blend modes, uh, something that um, uh, um, Lightroom uh, doesn't yet have the capability for. Okay, so this is really uh, um, Photoshop's territory and specialist area now. So we're going to go for a white border. I'll click play, uh, continue, and I'll select from my resource folder, and I don't want the textures. This time I want the borders. I'll just select a white horizontal border, click place, okay, and I'll just resize that. You'll notice that the black, uh, the center of this border is black, and uh, when I click play, it's going to drop this layer into the screen blend mode, thereby making the black neutral or invisible. And there is my uh, completed um, image there. Okay, so now we've got um, uh, an image with three actions played over and you can see that is really quite quick. Now obviously all of these effects are, can be manually done. All I'm doing here is saving time.